Next is Core back at it again with the worst thing we're gonna ever upload ever because loops are healthy for card games. So, as some of you probably know, there's a Neo Nectar Asha loop with a new stride we got in Try 3. And I'm gonna show you how it works because we're sellouts and content is content. So, we got this hand, you see. You take this grade 3 and you stride with it. Then you stride into our new G unit. The Fire Princess of Balmy Breeze in Verno. Then you look at these dank cards in your hand, and well, first you got to use Stride Skill because Strides have skill. Can okay, I must one soul us one clone, and the clone target gets boost, but that doesn't matter because it's a grade zero and it can do that anyways. So you call this dank, tenacious maiden Noel, and then you call Cosmos Pixie Lizbeth. So first you use Inverno's ability, which whenever a card is called. You can counter blast one, discard one, search your deck for two copies of that card and add it to your hand. So you go one and two, and you just add them to your hand. Then what you do is you use this Eda's ability. You rest it and you pick two cards and they gain each other's names. So this is now Lizbeth and this is also now Noel. So then what you do is you call this Lizbeth, right? And then what you do is Noel Bloom activates because it's technically Lizbeth. So plus 4k, and plus 4k. Then you use Lizbeth's ability, shuffle it into the deck. And then you get a nice little Dankarino draw. Then you go Lizbeth, you use Inverno's ability, counterblast one, target this Lizbeth. Because that Lizbeth is Noel, you can add Noel and a Lizbeth to your hand from its ability. Because that's cool, and also because you called a Lizbeth Noel's Bloom activates. And these are now in your hand. And then you use this Lizbeth's ability, tag it into the deck, shuffle, and you get another card. Meta. Then you get rid of that Ida, call Noel, and then Bloom activates, 3-3. Three, three. And then, don't forget that Dank Inverno. Oh. One is added, and two is added. And then you use this Eda's ability, tap it, target this Noel and this Lizbeth. So now this Noel is also a Lizbeth. So now that card can plus whenever you call a Lizbeth two. Now this is when power really kind of starts doing its thing. You call Maiden a Sweet Berry, you use its ability, you shuffle it into your deck, you search your deck for a card, and call it. No, you, you target your Vanguard, because you can do that, because your Vanguard is also Renunculus of Searing Heart Asha. So you take Renunculus of Searing Heart Asha. Then, retire that, call Lizbeth. So because Lizbeth called, we got some blooms going on. Bloom, 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 and bloom. Then, you know, use this dank Lizbeth Arenos ability, shuffle into the deck, and you get a card. Busted. Then you call this Lizbeth. Blooms are gonna activate again. Bloom, 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 and bloom. You tag Lizbeth back into the deck, shuffle off all Arenos, draw a card, busted. Then what you do is you can use Inverno's ability. You take you soul blast one, and you choose five normal units from your drop zone that aren't like bad three, four. Implying anything in you next week. Bad. You right. And then you shuffle them into your little decorino. And then what you do is you soul charge and you unflip because your loops aren't really done yet. Now you call Lizbeth blooming. Bloom, 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 bloom. When you call Lizbeth, you use Inverno's skill. Counterblast one, get those two nice little Lizbeths you just put back into your deck with your own ability. Add them to your little hand kachino. Now you use that Lizbeth, and what you do is you're good enough and you can control your draws ideally, and you draw Thuria. <laughs> In an ideal world you'd also have Thuria, but you know, we're gonna do this now. So then what you do, you call Thuria, use her ability to call her as Lizbeth. Wait a minute, it's a Lizbeth, Noel can still proc for some reason, because card design is not real apparently. So we got all these dank blooms going on.
like these blooms are just so dank. But also Lizbeth gives an ability to it. So this, because three is still Lizbeth, boop. Well, actually no, before you do that, you and Verano get some Thuria Kachinos. So Thuria inherits Lizbeth's ability? No, Liz Lizbeth's ability is Bloom give all copies of Lizbeth the, um, the ability. Skill? Yeah, and because it's still technically Lizbeth. And because it inherited that dank ability, shuffle it into the deck, and you plus. Thuria, call it as Lizbeth. Bloom gain red text. Bloom for power. Power, power. <laughs> Unlimited power! I am the Senate. And then you draw Thuria. Bl well, Bloom, because it's also Lizbeth. Dude. Oh, success in my life could bloom this much. That was the worst thing you've ever said ever. Really? That didn't even make any sense. You don't deserve to be. Draw! Oh! Blooming can still happen. That's Nidorino. Bloom. So, four. I thought he'd be moving the dice for, for you. Mm -hmm. Gross. You, you already used him, get him off the card. <laughs> An open letter to Atlas, stop backseat card fighting. <laughs> Love you, Atlas. Draw, oh, we're good enough to draw Thuria again. We can keep going, fam. Bloom. 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 We can get it, we like flowers. Draw. Nice. Bloom! Now, are we good enough to top deck something we shuffled in? We're not. So, now unfortunately, it kind of cuts off a little bit because we didn't shut, draw into anything else, any other Lizbeth or Thuria. So, it just kind of goes like this. And now we can just kind of keep going a little bit by minusing. So, Noel, because we still call the Noel, we can bloom. And then. Call another Noel. This Noel's ability still would proc because you know columns exist. <laughs> so five, five, two, two, and then because timing isn't real, these get power apparently. And then what you do is the last part of this Millennium puzzle that we haven't gotten to is. Is that a motherfucking Yu-Gi-Oh reference? No. Is Noel has this Dankarino GB2. Well, what you can do is you can discard a card, and she can attack from the back row. Numbers, man. So, why don't you say what the number of each card is individually? Yeah, let's do that. So, this Noel bloomed one time. Thirteen. Then, everything else bloomed a lot. This bloomed eleven times. Eleven times forty-four. Four times four is forty-four. This is fifty-three. Then this also bloomed eleven times, so this is fifty-five. 30, then you do your triple drive and get some stamp. Critical trigger, all effects there. No trigger. Stand trigger. Heal trigger. Power there and you heal one. You're not good enough, Gabe. My bad. This bloomed 14 times. So this is gonna be 60 with the crit 65, two crits. This is 65 also, but with no two crits. And that's the Inverno loop. It takes forever. Beat your opponent by stall out with it in Bushiro tournaments because you're just that good. If you couldn't tell, it requires quite a bit of setup. You need five face-up damage, minimum two soul, a copy of Lisbeth and Noel in your hand, ideally Thuria two. You also need to draw at least one copy of Sweet Berry. Yeah, made in a Sweet Berry and Thuria because the Thuria continues your abilities, so that's cool but it kind of requires a bit of setup, so it's not super practical, honestly. It, it does its job well, but it just takes forever because this is a 10 minute video of this one combo. This is literally one turn, we're in solitaire mode, fam. Uh, yeah, that's the Inverno loop. Uh, feel free to try it out if you hate yourself that much, as I do. Could you have done this loop with regular Asha? Yes, you can. <laughs> because all you need this, this, Asha, reg, this Asha for is stride skill to call the starter. That's literally all you need it for. You could do that with regular Asha, and you could just use Sweet Berry to call that to regular Asha instead of that. You can use this with regular Asha, fam. Oh god. Uh, god, kill me. <laughs> Play the outro.